And anybody in AOC, talk to us about that. Yeah, man, it's all about speed. Well, first of all, I want to give it up to my phenomenal uplines and parents, Gary and Patricia Cornegay. Without them, I literally wouldn't be here. I say that all the time. But uh, speed is everything, man. It's all about perception for me. I look at Prime America as a Lamborghini because, of course, this is a vehicle to get us from point A to point B, correct? Yes, sir. But it's all about the speed that you do it in. So I believe that your perception of the business has a lot to do with how fast you go. See, I know Prime America works 100% on the second generation. So I, there's no doubt in my mind that if I work there, Prime America's going to pay me. I know Prime America's going to pay me, so I'm going to work as hard as I can. That's why it's with speed and with great coaching, anything's possible. You just got to work your butt off. And so that's what we did with me and my father. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Well, you were talking to me about second generation. Man, that's huge. Second generation. I mean, literally, if you look at the, the council members, they all have some, well, majority of them have second generations. If not, they're working on it, right? But um, it's kind of cool <laughs> to see the, the changing of the guards. All the second generations, their kids in the business, and we all fighting to get to 200,000. I mean, it would be cool to see Sarah Phillips. It would be cool to see McKenzie. It would be cool to see Maui. It would be cool to see uh, Davia Walker up here one day. And so we're sitting up here, and we're the council members. We're the new council members, and we take it over. And y'all take the back seat, you know, just, you know. <laughs> That's the goal. That. Yes, sir. We all are in the PSC business. Profit sharing compensation business. I'm with that. We have no problem with that. <laughs> Siobhan, you all have exploded as vice presidents and moving forward, but I want you to talk to them about exploding their recruiting. Can you talk to us about that? Of course. Um, at Beast Nation, one thing that we focus on is you can't do anything without recruits. So if you're trying to get your business going, that should be your main focus. That makes sense. We can't promote uh, vice presidents. We can't get anyone coded if we don't have enough people going through the pipeline. And so we tell people that with this, the power of this company and the passion that you should have behind this company, you have to boldly recruit. You can't just passively recruit. You have to boldly recruit and tell them the power of this company. Anytime I can go from a waitress to making 200 grand, I mean, that's a big deal, right? right. And so I don't sugarcoat anything. I, I boldly recruit and make sure that our team is focused on doing that in large numbers. That's you. That's you. Because we know that recruiting is a game. If people don't recruit, they, they die. Exactly. So I appreciate that particular piece on the recruiting side because people think sometimes they can stop recruiting. They got to be recruiting and their team got to continue recruiting. You all have been a great example of that. Antoine, you all promoted six regional vice presidents as a partnership team, six vice presidents. Talk to us about why that's been important and what's your focus been and why you all fight to get that many vice presidents as quickly as you did. One of the things that we talk about uh, in our organization is, you know, if you ever want to understand the purpose of stuff, you got to understand what was on the mind of the person who created the thing and what did he create the thing for. So when you look at the great Al Williams, who founded the company, you know, he founded the company for, for, for one reason and one reason only, man. And he told people, you know, your first game is to become an RVP, and then after that, like the next game is to promote 7 to 10, and then, go, and then teach those 7 to 10 how to promote 7 to 10. That was the one, two, three step of building the sales of primary the business. So all we did was we took the original plan of the founder of the company and we put the the original plan in today's time frame, you know what I'm saying? That is so, and then another thing about becoming an RVP, it's the league, man. I, mean, I think district is cool, I think regional leader is cool, but the big dog, the big boys play RVP and above, you know? And then once you go into RVP and above, you understand the cash flow of an RVP, man. This past month, you know, me and my wife had a bonus check, about $14,000, you know what I'm saying, man? I said, holy crap, you said they pay us lump sums of money like that? You know, Chase called me, asked me for a loan. You know what I'm saying? Like that. Like, they be smart. So I said, no, y'all gotta, gotta get your credit up. You know? I mean, it's exciting, all that kind of stuff. So that is the game. So we got six. We promote seven in the next 90 days. We promote nine by the end of the year. And it's all about giving other people the opportunity, man, to be somebody for their families and to go build wealth for their families that probably has never been done. In their, it never, it's never been done. It'll never be done in their lifetime. And as vice presidents, we have that power to give another person that kind of power. So I, I like that, man. That's you, you grab this hand like you're doing as you get vice president promoted. SVP, NSD, SSD, they continue to pay more and more bonuses. And then they have another super bonus that says when a person is an SSD promoted to SNSD, they'll pay you another bonus on top of that. So keep on promoting vice president. Adrian, you have hit the ball out the park, came out strong, took a hit. Cause I'm telling you, you took a hit. And daggum, you making sure you ain't taking no more hits. I'm excited about talking about that. Uh, well, Coach, man, for me, uh, the business is awesome. And the, the great thing about Prime Man is you got to own the income opportunity. You know, I came into the business of district manager. I was making thirty eight, forty thousand. Uh, working 70, 80 hours a week. I came into Prime America, I made 40 grand my first year part-time working 15, 20 hours a week. 
And so from an income standpoint, I made good money. My first year's RVP, I made 103,000, but I saved 100 grand. So, you know, we talk about making good money in this opportunity. Uh, so for a couple of years, I kind of lived my life. I did what I wanted to do. You know what I mean? That's the beautiful part of my primary. You can make money, live your lifestyle. So I did what I wanted to do with my family, then I decided to based on making a decision. I made another decision, I want to go build it. And I made money first, let me go build my business. And I decided to go build it, we started competing. I mean, me and the Lambs have been competing since 2013, you know what I mean? From Beast Nation and Freedom Team, made big up the freedom out there, man. I love and respect my team. We're be without that team. And we decided to compete, we decided to make a decision to go build our business. And now uh, we just won our first week in the Vice President with Trika Foster, we're proud of her. And, uh, and so now we're back over 100,000. We're gonna go SGP in a couple more months and we're gonna build a hierarchy, but that's what we came here to do. That's a big deal, I'm excited about that. Coming to our next hot shot. These are hot shots, y'all. We ain't just pick somebody and say, how about you, how about you? We pick some hot shots that we believe are gonna help us move through the needle. And Jay Lou made a decision to not just get to 100,000, she got to 50,000 dollars when she came to the business. She only been a, a vice president for seven months. Seven months, correct? Seven months, got her watch and then got her ring and now she has crossed over and got to 200,000. Talk to us about some people coming behind you trying to get to 200,000. Because we trying to get 100, 100 people on the ALC crossing over 100,000. Talk to us about that, Jay Lou. Well, the vision has to be clear. You know, it is not about your background. It's not about the pitfalls in the business. You have to paint a, a very, very crystal clear vision. And the vision in Team KO is the sky's the limit. I want to thank my wonderful NSD, Jared Nelson, who is here in the crowd with me. Um, you know, the intangibles are important. The intangibles are so important. We have our wonderful uh, Flowwood offices in here, at Team KO. But you know, you, you have to remember the intangibles for the business. If you want to jump diamonds, um, you have to treat people right. It's not really always going to be about the system. And tell me about prospecting and recruiting. You have to have character. That's what you do when nobody is watching. So those things in place with an awesome leader such as Jared Nelson, um, you know, you can never go wrong. And, and, and the vision for me is I'm going to get a million out of this thing. J. Lou is going to be the guinea pig for everybody in here because I have to create hope and vision. I'm not going to take all day to do it. Now that I have my second diamond, I think I'm at 215000 in income now. My goal is three to 400 by December 31st. So I'm just going to lay it all out there. Uh, I'm not going to worry about anything. I'm not going to worry about who's doing what. I'm going to lead by example. I'm going to get people licensed. I'm going to get this thing popped. Hey, as we get as we get prepared to close, Gary, by the way, how old are you? Because people not believe me when I told you the youngest. How old are you? I just turned 21. 21 years old. Wearing a hundred dollars. Y'all, y'all do have a great they, 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 they think we just up and talking. We got new people out there that don't believe. They all earn a hundred thousand. Only two percent of the people in America make a hundred thousand dollars, and every one of these are millennials, and they all making it. So as we get ready to close, what is something that you would tell people to do when they get ready to leave here? I'm not talking about today. When they leave the convention, what is something that they should do to make sure they get on fire when they get back home? Don't take no days off. Mm. Impactful words just like a, like a mutual fund does. Just compound interest, baby. We teach a little something too, but it applies to your business. You got to work every single day, take no days off, and it'll pay off in the long run. I'm guaranteed it. I'm telling you, I'm living it. My dad, I've got great examples. My pops is living it, so let's do it. Take no days off. Work your butt off. Our man is going to pay you. Siobhan, what would you tell us? I would tell them to make sure that they focus on finishing. You know, you come here and you feel all of this excitement and all of this emotion, but you don't get paid to feel, you get paid to finish. That makes sense? So you want to make sure that you take that excitement and you actually turn that into work ethic. Or when that excitement dies down and you don't feel like it, that you do it anyway and you finish the job. Got it, got it. Antoine, what would you share with us? Um, you know, guys, when you look, everybody's looking to get momentum to grow their business when we leave here, right? So you look at the word momentum, it's two words. There's momentum and then there's um. The, his, his, if he's writing this down, look, losers focus on the um, while winners focus on doing what's happening to, to, take, to capture the moment. So what's going to happen to a lot of you, I, 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 I'm going to protect you from doing this, when you go home, don't get stuck in the um phase of building a business. Um, should I study for my test? Um, should I get a license? Um, should I go prospect it? Um, should I set an appointment? No. Folk, understand that this is your moment. You got to have it in your mind. If you don't go get it done, get it done today, it, or this, this, this year, it won't happen. So focus on the moment and not the um, and you'll have all the momentum you need to go build your Right 
I learned it's a competition type of business. So when you look around this room, you're going to see a lot of people with a lot of examples. I mean, that's the beautiful part of the African American Leadership Council. It's a display of success. You can find somebody successful in all different types of walk of life, and if somebody did it, you can do it. But we got to get past the kumbaya phase of how much we love each other, right? And we got to get into the competing stage of the business because what happens when you really compete? See, I just got a mindset. I feel no man but God. You know, so the reality of it is, it doesn't matter what your title is, no matter how long you've been here, anybody in primary will get caught. So that's the reality. So, and so all the people that you see you idolizing, I recommend you don't do that. You know, I mean, you look at them as a target, you find a target, you go for it, and you compete based upon that level. Because the beautiful thing about White America is uh, POL is a public traded situation, right? You can look on there and find a person, find a target, go compete, because when you're competing, you get past that natural emotion of fear. And you catch on another situation called adrenaline, and we can go get the job done. So yes, take sir. that adrenaline and go compete. Yes, sir. Jay Lou, your last comment. Leaving here, focus on getting your upline to a million ASAP. Um, you got to start off with yourself. You leave here, you go get you two to four brand new recruits so that you can get those recruits licensed, get their recruit off to a fast start. And I think everybody needs to leave here focusing on life licensing. We have five people to pass their test before this month is out. Team Kale with double digit and life license codes. So get people coded, get them off to a fast start, and get your upline, Jerry Nelson, in this case, to a million ASAP. ALC